The X Factor judges The X Factor has announced a wildcard twist that will give four eliminated acts another shot at pop stardom. The contestants were whittled down to 24 acts during the judges' houses stage of the ITV contest this weekend. But the 12 hopefuls who were cut have had their hopes revived as the show announced that four of them will be brought back. Viewers will be able to vote for their favorites and one wildcard from each category, the boys, the girls, the overs and the groups, will go through to the live shows. Leon Mallet, Aidan Martin and Jack Mason are the singers trying to make it back into Lewis Walsh's boys category, while Elisa Bonarobra, Deanna Mussington and Georgina Pantin are hoping to be reunited with the rest of the girls. Lewis Walsh, Mussington said this opportunity is a blessing and if I am voted as the wild card, I will do all in my power to make everyone proud, while pursuing my lifelong dream and passion. Lemonade, new girl band and singing duo Jack Joel are vying for the spot among Simon Cowell's groups. Lemonade urged people to pick up the phone for them, saying this is our dream. From the moment we became a band and started this X Factor journey, all we have ever wanted is to go as far as we can in this amazing competition. So if we were to be made the wild card that would be a dream come true. With Simon as our mentor, there is no limit to what we could achieve. Airport worker Talia Dean, Burj A. Lewis and Slavko are hoping for a second chance in Nicole Scherzinger's overs category. Slavko, who has become known for his energetic, hair-whipping routines, said of hearing he was in the wildcard pool I'm so emotional and I just want to say to the British people, vote for me. Vote for Slavko and bring me back to the live shows. Beyonce would be very proud. The X Factor voting is now open and closes at 1 p.m. on October 23rd. Details can be found on the website www.itv.quicksfactor via the X Factor app. The first live show of X Factor kicks off on Saturday, October 28 at 8.20 p.m. on ITV.